What's going on? It's 37 here. I'm going to show you a quick video on how to get an engineering mode on your Mustang. So, yeah, stay tuned. Right, so some of you might have seen how to do this before. Um, some of you guys might know about it. Some people might not have any idea this even exists in your car. So, I'm going to do a quick video. Uh, just walk me through it, show you how to do it, and some of the stuff you can see, and it's really bad. All right, so, so this is how you get an engineering mode on your bus tank. Here's your key. You just put the key in the ignition. Then your little reset button here on the steering wheel. You can go ahead and hold that in. And while you're doing that, you're going to go ahead and turn the key to the run position. Sorry, the lights come on, everything chimes. And once it says engineering mode, you do just take your finger off the reset button and it's going to start a gauge test so from here what you can do is continue to hit that reset button and it's going to take you through all the different tests and things that you could do in engineering mode so I'm just going to go through a few of them real quick because there is a lot um, i didn't count it but i think there's over 40 or 50 different things on here you can go through um, some of them are really cool some of them are useless so just to give you an idea we'll go through here um, this is the next thing that's going to pop up after it says uh, gauge test. You're going to go past that. And here we're into telltale tests. You're going to look at all your bulbs in the dash. Make sure everything's illuminating properly. Make sure it's all working. All right, so we're going to keep going on here through this, this stuff. Again, like I said, if you're, if you're an engineer, maybe it's important to you. If you just want to have some fun, just keep hitting uh, reset till you get through here. So here's the first thing that's pretty cool. Um, your cars actually have a built-in digital speedometer, which I didn't know about uh, until just a couple days ago when someone told me about this. And I, this is pretty badass, actually. I'm going to start using this all the time, I think. Um, after that, you have uh, it was kilometers, but then you got where's it at? Your tachometer. So even something cooler. If anybody here plays Forza or Gran Turismo or you grew up playing racing games, um, you always had a digital dash option um, for RPMs and speed. You can switch to it, and I think this is pretty badass that you can actually go in and get digital or analog gauges if you want to. Now, to use this, what you're going to do, actually, is leave it on tachometer, and you're going to start your car with that screen on. And from that point, you're going to have a digital tachometer the entire time you're driving until you turn it off. So that's basically how you would use that while you're driving the car, because the car off, it's not going to be any good. So keep going through everything else. Um, here we've got some pretty neat stuff. If you want to play around with it, go ahead and keep going through. Um, but this will literally tell you just about everything you need to know in your car. Um, it's it really in depth with a lot of stuff. Um, I'll try and post some links in the description if you guys want to check it out. Some more information about it, kind of describing what some of this stuff is. There's a couple ways in here you can actually test your charging system and your battery as well too. Um, which you just again just go through whichever test you want to have up, start your car. And what you're going to do is turn on all your accessories, headlights, wiper blades, radio, heat, everything you can, and watch the monitor as far as your alternator output, your battery voltage, all that stuff. Um, if there's any problems, I know normal spec for alternator charging is normally around 14.3 volts. You know, if you're dipping way below that, it might be a sign of an alternator going out, it could be a sign of other things. Um, just kind of like a self-diagnostics on these kind of issues and things like that. It's pretty cool. Um, obviously, if you don't know anything about that, read up on it first. Don't try and fix anything unless you know what you're doing because that's how things get broke but anyways you can keep going through here it's you know like i said it's never ending it just keeps going and going and going any piece of information you need is on here so if you guys like this kind of video if you want to see more how to's uh, if you want to see how to do cool stuff like this little tips tricks things like that your mustang leave a comment leave a like um let me know i'll keep doing more stuff like this so thanks for watching see you later